Yo chat, what's up man? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this really cool grunge glitch effect using AI and some presets that I've made. And it's really easy to do. You can do this in basically no time. And that's why I like this so much. So I basically took this clip right here of Doo-Wop Kane from the I Lost music video. And this is high quality footage. You want to use good quality footage that's lit really well. And then I just went over to this runway website and I'm using this Aleph thing and i've tried out a ton of different prompts here to try to get cool effects so originally i was going to do like a face pixelated effect which is kind of cool but it just doesn't look good to me i tried it on this footage right here of nate sib but it just i think the lighting was bad i mean i think it's kind of cool but it just looks like a blob like a mess and then i tried to do all of these prompts but they got blocked out by the usage policy which is super annoying so I said make his face melt into blue water. I guess that was too, that violates their policy somehow. Make his face melt into liquid pixels somehow violates. Distort his face and make it swirly. Like I tried to make it as kid friendly as possible and that violates their terms. So I'm definitely kind of annoyed with that, but it is what it is, bruh. But yeah, this uh, website's gonna be linked in the description. And then for this one, I just said make the background very glitchy. And then it gave me this, which is like a really weird looking video. And then I just improved the prompt right here. I said, please improve the video by adding some glitches and small pixels to the man in the video. Also upscale to 4K, which it can do, which is nice. And it gave me this right here, which I think looks overall pretty cool. So I just went ahead and downloaded that. I don't think it did upscale it to 4K actually. The way that you do that is you click upscale to 4K right here. But I'm just on like a $15 a month subscription. It's not sponsored or anything. So with that $15, I was able to get 12 different AI videos. So definitely a huge contrast. And so my original plan was I wanted to add on an adjustment layer. And then I want to add on my grunge preset on my website linked down in the description. So all I did was add on grunge preset number one. And already it looks like this right here. So, you know, that definitely looks really cool. And then, of course, all my presets are customizable. So you can go ahead and adjust any of these values over here that you want. And yeah, we have something that looks like this. And, and keep in mind, I was really able to do this in basically like two to three minutes. So, you know really great way to start doing vfx really great way to add effects to your music video if you want to save as much time as possible yeah man everything for music videos is just being made easy as fuck nowadays so i'm really excited about the future shit link down in the description if you guys support me or my website you guys are helping me make more tutorials i appreciate y'all as always man god bless and peace out